okay so today we are going to see and learn about the browser object model okay so every modern browser uh, gives us an object called window object using which we can access the browser elements whether it be the html elements or even the urls or back buttons okay anything we can access using the window object so all the browser elements will be part of the window object and using this window object we can access them in javascript okay so that is what we are going to uh, see like uh, some of them uh, so on high level today uh, we will cover like how to access the site url uh, and also about the window screen so these are the two things which we will uh, see today okay so let's go to this uh, js uh, location okay so a window object has a location property okay using which we can get what is the url okay so think of this right why do we want to get a uh, url in javascript okay so it could be of different reason mainly uh, it is uh, to get the page context so javascript is a single file right all our script will be in the single file so it will get executed on every page right so if you want to know uh, on which page we are currently in the javascript then we will use uh, uh, this window.location okay so as a developer right uh, we need to be very really comfortable uh, in using this uh, console actually uh, so if you click on f12 button then you will get into this console okay so that's how you get into it and then you will have to uh, get used to uh, using this console uh, why because uh, uh, we can execute uh, the javascript uh, uh, commands using this console so why we need to uh, get comfortable using this is uh, for debugging purposes so let us suppose our code is in production and we want to test uh, uh, our code quickly whether some fix will work or not then we can directly execute our uh, javascript on this console and see if our changes are getting reflected or not so if anything which we execute here will not get saved ultimately okay ultimately we will have to do the change in the code and only then uh, the change will be permanent uh, but then whatever change we do here or whatever script we execute here we will immediately know whether changes are happening on the browser or not okay so that's why we'll have to see it's just like uh, the inspect right uh, all the styles we used to change here and it, it used to immediately get uh, uh, affected right in the similar way the console also so you can just uh, copy paste this one like the window object right window.location.href so it returns the uh, href which is the url of the current page so just to test that you can directly uh, give it like this and you already see that uh, whatever current page we are on that url we got it right so this is the advantage of uh, uh, this console that we can quickly test whether something is working or not okay so but uh, let's uh, explore what is this window object initially okay just if i if i just type window so this is the way uh, quick way of identifying the structure right of the object of any object basically so if you want to know like if you if you have some object uh, which is being returned through an api call or, or or from anything right in the script if you don't know the structure of the object then you can just console log um, that uh, uh, that uh, object from the script i will let you know how to do that exactly uh, but we can log it here and we can actually see what exactly that contains okay so it contains the cookie information and uh, all other right uh, google adsense information and all other uh, uh, hell lot of information this uh, uh, window object contains so uh, all these attributes we can uh, access using this window object and uh, within that you see this location so the location is also one of the uh, object which is part of this window object okay in this location we are accessing this parameter which is href so similarly we can access the host name parameter also as as mentioned here right so we can access host name and uh, you see what is the host uh, right uh, both are same basically and you see what is the origin uh, right so all these are like synonymous terms uh, so uh, different attributes basically you can access using this window location object okay so that is one thing which we want to cover okay so the other thing is if you want to know the screen size in some cases you might uh, want to know 
uh, especially when we are doing some gaming kind of thing uh, we would like to know what is the uh, screen height and width uh, right in the program uh, so that we can adapt our game to that screen uh, so in that cases you might uh, want to uh, see what is the uh, screen width and height and accordingly you want to adjust some experience or some design on your page so how do you do that uh, so again you you have the screen height property so it is actually the window dot uh, screen height so if you see a uh, window object right here so if you see the window object here so in this there is a object called screen okay so let's see if it is available or not okay so here we have the screen object right so in this screen object uh, we have the height okay so how do we access it we ideally should access using window dot screen dot height uh, right or window dot screen dot uh, width uh, but then there is a shortcut also you can directly uh, access it as screen dot width and screen dot height and window dot is assumed by the browser so you could do it like this also okay so uh, so these are the different screen properties which are available uh, for us to use uh, the details of which we can uh, see here the aim of uh, our lecture is to just introduce uh, what all we can do with the javascript okay so that you can use it in your uh, different various projects okay so uh, this is what i wanted to cover today so uh, in next uh, uh, lectures we will cover uh, what are the pop up boxes timeout deloys and cookies and much more right how do we how do you actually uh, start changing the html elements also we'll see Okay, so yeah, thank you.